Hello everybody, Scott Golden here with the Golden Opportunities Coaching YouTube channel. Welcome to those of you who are new, welcome back to those of you seasoned veterans of what we do around here. And what we do around here is bring about conversations of a psychological, mental health, emotional health paradigm. We do this as often as we can, usually several times per week. We try to do that for your listening pleasure. We continue to do that in the hopes that things will improve for you in whatever challenges you may be facing. If you are looking for a life, business, relationship, Related guidance would love to be of assistance to you in any way that I can. Please feel free to reach out at PO Perception on Twitter or in the About Me section of this YouTube page. Either one will give you get you in touch with me or a member of my team. We can make something happen from there. Um, but as we begin this 296th edition of the Life Lesson series, uh, just things that life may be trying to teach you, pay attention to your health, mental, emotional, and physical. Mental health, obviously, is how your mind works. Emotional health is... Uh, how much of your life is dominated by your emotional core. That is the things that matter that matter most to you in a, in a meaningful way. Does it get to a good place for you to begin to um, connect and, and go in a, in a positive way? Um, or are you ultimately struggling in a manner that doesn't necessarily serve you well? Are you a person who is constantly stressed out or are you a person who is constantly, you know, looking for a positive impact? No matter what happens and no matter how things come together, you have to be able to look at uh, your health, body, mind, and spirit, the three forces of self as something that is a priority. If you don't have your health, you really don't have anything and, and being unhealthy or allowing your mind, allowing your body to get out of balance is going to cost you more in the long run than it ever will. Be clear on the things you're trying to achieve in your life, whatever goals you have, whatever focuses you have, be super clear on why you want them and, and the methods at which you are going to get to them. Sometimes it's worthy to take a, uh, a weekly look. Sometimes it's worthy to take a monthly look. Sometimes it's, it's worthy to take a look every day at, hey, am I closer or further away from the things that I really want? The reason that this is a good idea is because you don't want to be wasting time towards something that isn't working, and your level of growth will be directly influenced by the amount of time that you are using your time, mind, and focus power positively rather than negatively. It doesn't necessarily mean you have to have every answer. You certainly don't. But when you begin to understand the value of growing in a in a positive direction, you will also then be able to feel like your time, your energy, your effort is going somewhere in a meaningful way. And ultimately, it'll get you to a better, progressive, uh, productive manner. And truthfully, ultimately, when we begin to know how to do that, um, there is a good perspective in terms of um, you know, making things more serious and more goal-orientated. Also understand that you need to rate your progress. Am I making more or less or the same amount of progress as what I used to make? And am I making more or less or the same amount of progress that I want to make? If you're not making progress at a level that matters, then what's the point? In other words, if you are inching along, but you need to be moving quicker, if you are moving too quickly but not making any real progress you're just going around in circles if you're not getting getting what you want out of the actions you're taking reestablishing your approach to the things that matter to you is important expand your vision sometimes the things that we are accomplishing may give us happiness but do they really give us a sense of belonging or do they sen do they give us a sense of connectivity oftentimes they don't because we get so busy and bogged down in the things that we're doing that we don't think about the amount of energy we're expending or how close we are or how far we are from actually achieving the things that we originally wanted to in the first place. And so when we begin to understand that every action has to be uh, kind of looked at for its efficiency, for its value in terms of being efficient, it's important to do that in a meaningful and directive manner and so when we do that there's there's a challenge there isn't there in terms of how do we make life happen in a more consistent manner versus the manner of that which doesn't go in the direction we want it to go 
So hopefully this is helpful. I encourage you to keep your feet on the ground, your mind in the moment. Till next time, everybody.